guys welcome back for another exciting jewelry unboxing video I have a box here to open for you all designer name brand pieces uh, not very many so there won't be a terribly long video but I want to show you this bag is all earrings I received it about three weeks ago in a box that was supposed to be brooches and rings and a lot I had won from shop goodwill so I messaged them and they said, oh, thanks for letting us know. We have your lot here. We'll get it sent out and send you a return label to return the earrings. Well, I got my brooches and my rings, but it's been two weeks since I contacted them at least. And I have yet to get a return label for this giant bag of earrings. And it is killing me because I see some fun ones in there and I really want to tear into it. But I'm an honest person and I do want to return it to them. Um, but I'm kind of holding out because if they never get back to me and don't send me any return label, I don't know if I'm that honest of a person. I might just hold on to it. I was really worried though. Um, I figured if I got these, then somebody else would have gotten my brooches and rings. And I'm pretty sure even after opening the brooches and rings that I had a greater value in there than in this giant bag of earrings. I don't know, because I don't know what's in here. But I was really nervous. I'm like, well, somebody would have gotten that and gotten super excited that they got the better lot and not returned it. Um, but apparently that didn't happen. Apparently this was just a random bag they had laying around that got mixed up and uh, put in my box. So, But... Um, this box has been sitting around for about five weeks now, waiting for me to open it. And after that happened, I kept thinking, oh, I should tear into all the boxes and just make sure that what's supposed to be in there is in there. If I opened one five weeks later and had a completely different item, I'm guessing they wouldn't do anything for me. But anyway, here we go. $102.90 I spent on this one. I'm sure I had a reason for bidding that high. Don't know what that reason is. Here's the inside of the box. It is all supposed to be designer name brand pieces. Let's see. Yep, just says designer brand name jewelry grab bag. $85.99 was my winning bid, and the rest was taxes and shipping, and this is what I got for $102, so hopefully I knew what I was doing. Seems like a lot for this little amount, but that's okay. I see pretties. different little bags in here. So let's do each one separately. Everything's individually bagged, maybe. Well, that's nice of them, but also kind of annoying for showing stuff off. But that's okay. Here we go. So this is Trifari necklace. That I think no I thought that was a missing stone but nope it's just enamel so Trifari necklace and then I'm going to guess these are the matching earrings I found with Trifari there are certain pieces that go for a lot of money and then other pieces that are just not so very well sought after so I can't necessarily say what I expect to get for this I'm gonna guess selling them together as long as I can confirm oh yeah they're marked they say Trifari on them um, selling them together I'm gonna guess the minimum I could expect to get would be maybe $25 but uh, yeah 
Trifari is all over the place. If I can find an exact comp, I'll do a little better. Probably price them high and see what happens. Here are some pearls. And these do not appear to be branded unless it's on the inside. Nope. Hmm. They do appear to be nice, but they don't appear to be branded. They are all individually knotted. That's a good sign. They are not perfectly even round pearls, and they are definitely slightly aged. So there is definitely some value there. Uh, again, a minimum of probably about $20. Okay. I have a Gruen watch, G-R-U-E-N, which I have sold those before. Uh, never for as much as what I think I'll get though. So when you look up Gruen comps, there are some that are like 14 karat gold or sterling silver. This one's just stainless steel. And I think I remember in the listing on Shop Goodwill, I think there was a line down there saying, be sure to check out the amazing two-tone Gruen watch. Uh, I remember that on something, but the only two-tone part of it is the fact that the numbers are gold and the hands are gold. The rest is all silver. But anyway, they seemed extra excited about it, and I looked at it, and I was like, well, unless that's sterling or gold, there's nothing really to be that excited about. We'll see. This one, however, is Whitnauer. Uh, and I'm thinking that's actually a pretty good brand watch. I can't read the back of it in the package, but I will have to look into that one. I'm guessing both of those will definitely need new batteries. More pearls. These I'm willing to bet are faux. With rhinestones in between each one. And unbranded disappointing when they advertise to me that I'm getting a branded lot, but doesn't mean I won't make money. This is Nashelle. Fashion Feeding Hunger Nashelle. Little necklace. I do not know Nashelle. But five to ten bucks at a bare minimum, if it's not worthy of more. This is Liz Claiborne. It's got the LC tag. Actually, this LC might be Lauren Conrad. Liz Claiborne has... Where'd it go? Where'd my tag go? Liz Claiborne has, like... 10 different LC versions, but I think this one might be Lauren Conrad's. It is a little fancier. I will double check, but just a little slinky style bracelet. 10 bucks, tops. Oh, I remember seeing these. These are Berebi which is a fun, good, oh no. <laughs> fun Berebi earrings, but this one is missing two of its little plates. That is very sad. Oh, they're in here though. Wait, maybe, maybe. <gasps> okay, here's one. See if the other one's in there because I don't remember them looking defective. So I could glue that piece back on 
And then if the other one's in there. Oh, yes it is. Yay. There we go. I can easily fix those up. But I would say a minimum of about $20 that I would get for that pair of earrings. Then we have pretty brooch and Sarah Coventry. It's pretty hard to read, but Sarah Coventry, 10 bucks minimum for that. Another one says Sarah Cov on the back. Faux Pearl Center. Ten bucks on that. Another one that is unmarked, but it is a cute little squirrel. Oh, it's marked on the front? Weird. Maybe. I think I see writing on the front of his tail down here, which is odd, but he is a cute little guy. Oh, he's missing a stone, right? No, he's not. That's just where his leg goes in. Thought he was missing a stone. Right there. Yeah, it looks like there's a stone missing, but it's just the indentation where his hip bone is, I guess. So, lots of Sarah Coventry. Some of her stuff does really well, others not so great. This is unbranded. Cool, but unbranded. Fun ring, cool, but also unbranded. It's my jade ring I stole out of another box. Mm, nothing too special with that one. Some earrings in here I'm trying to be careful not to drop. This is really pretty. But unbranded as well. I'm guessing the brooches are one of the reasons I bid so high on this because they have been doing really well for me lately. Um, but I was expecting them to be branded. Though this one is really pretty. I'm sure I can get something for it. This one's another Sarah Coventry. Fun tassel, which is removable and may not have, I'm going to guess it didn't go on there to begin with. I'm going to guess that was just somebody's fun little add-on, although that does appear to be a Sarah Coventry tassel. I've seen those on her other pieces, but I like that. Ten bucks minimum. This is Western Germany, and I think it's a shoe clip, maybe, or a scarf, a scarf clip, probably. Western Germany scarf clip. They do better if I have pairs. Sometimes I will save them up. I think I have three or four right now, anyway, and get a nice little lot and sell them all together, but... Sarah Coventry clip-ons, 10 bucks. Ah, there we go. Gonna start losing the earrings now. So, so. I keep pulling them out. There's not that many in there, but each one I pull out is not a pair. Not 
seeing any brand on these, but they are pretty. Rhinestone earrings. Oh, there's a symbol of some nature. Oh, that's the swan. They are Sw Swarsky, so Swavorsky earrings. They have a tiny, tiny little swan that there's no way you'll be able to see in the back there. Uh, so maybe 20? Can't tell. I'll have to... This one looks like it has some crud or something stuck between a couple of the crystals. That's better than unbranded for sure. Here we go. These are patent pending Sarah Coventry again. And there's a pair. Little wings, I guess, maybe. Ten bucks. Napier, but these are have a lot of flaking on the coatings. Probably more likely to go in a crafter's lot. Okay. This is pretty. It is Sarah Coventry again. Might be. I don't think she uses anything genuine. Probably a faux opal on the top. Can't get a good shimmer for you, but very pretty. I'd place those a little higher than some of the others just because I like them. So maybe 15, 20 ish. Let's see. No brand anywhere on these. Skinny little rhinestone. They might just go in my own collection. I like my long dangly, lightweight earrings. Uh, is this Trifari, maybe? Napier, Napier. I still don't know if, if I'm saying that right, ever. 10 bucks. That's just a rough guess that I assume would be the minimum I could get on something, so. These are cool. And they are Trifari, but I can't tell. I think they're like a flower bud, but then each one has a hole at the bottom Oh, maybe that's just the whole of the... Oh, they they go up. Duh. Duh, 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 duh. That's the way you wear them. So closed up roses, and the hole is just the hole at the top of the rose where it's going to open up. Those are really pretty. I'm going to guess 15 to 20 at least on those. And Napier again. These are screw on, screw backs, 10 bucks. Okay, so still have some more to go. A little stuff took a while to get through. This stuff should go quick. This needs some cleaning. It is Liz Claiborne. Some of the pieces just look cruddy around the edges.
but it's Liz Claiborne and it's sparkly. This feels really cheap and doesn't necessarily match the chain, so I'm willing to bet this piece is just somebody's personal add-on uh, to the empty chain. Jennifer Lopez. Her stuff does pretty well for me. Sparkles. And it's just got the J with the JL. It almost looks like two J's back to back. At least 10 bucks on that one. Again, I'm definitely making money off of this. I don't know if knowing exactly what's in it, if I would be willing to shell out a hundred and two dollars again but that's the problem with these lots is you never know exactly what's in them and sometimes they turn out to be amazing this is unbranded but really cool long super sparkly necklace. I have a Weiss, Weiss um, bracelet that I just list that almost exactly or does exactly match this. So I was kind of hoping to see brand on there, but I don't. And it's possible that it was on the hook and that this hook was a replacement because it looks too dainty and delicate for such a heavy chain. That's okay. This one is fun. Leah Sophia. Seed beads. With a fun little green pendant. Ten bucks. Nineteen twenty-eight. This is almost an exact match for the nineteen twenty-eight necklace I opened in my last video. This one is another nineteen twenty-eight. Can tell from the rectangle tag before I even look at it, but. And I think I have one identical to this one, too, already listed for sale, or in my pile waiting to have pictures taken. It's that one. We are almost done. Almost done. This one thought I was untangling two necklaces, but it's just one multiple chain. It is just Loft and Taylor Loft. Fun. There we go. This one that I'm wearing now, my oldest gave me after the baby was born. It's got my three girls, three children's birthstones on it. And it's got a knot in the back that I cannot get out. It's been there since it arrived in the mail and I have never been able to get it out. All the jewelry untangling that I do, I cannot get the knot out of my own necklace. But anyway, this is another loft. I like it. Cover myself in jewels. Liz Claiborne or Lauren Conrad. I will have to verify. But it's fun. Pretty necklace. 
10 bucks. Liz Claiborne. So this one says Liz Claiborne on it and it has a different LC. This LC is one of her like 20 different LCs that she uses. Um, but since there have been some Liz Claiborne pieces that I know in here, I would probably guess the other ones are as well. Last piece, another 1928, similar style necklace. Pretty, pretty, $10 minimum. And yeah, that's it. I mean, I think I'll be able to come out with a couple hundred bucks after I list all this stuff. Some of it might require a little research, but I'm definitely going to make money on it. A little disappointed in, my spe in myself for what I spent. Oh well, it was worth it. It's fun. I kind of prefer the random 10, 20 pound boxes where I have no clue what's in them because there's always some really cool surprise that'll make me my money back. Um, these I know what I'm getting, so at least I know for sure there's money to be made. It's a trade-off, I guess. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I am officially caught up on jewelry unboxings, yay! But I won three more last night. So they are on their way. I will unbox them for you when they arrive. They are all um, name brand designer type boxes similar to these. Uh, one of them I don't think I could see everything. They had like a bag off to the side in the pictures. But most part I could see what I'm getting. So stay tuned. Those will come. Thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up if you haven't already. Subscribe to my channel. Come back for more. You guys know the drill. Have a great week. Bye.